near the slot and it's picked up intended pass for Wahib Darj and he picks it up behind the net and the net comes crashing down it almost crashed down on Eder we got a fight this is our first fight here as one of the demons took down a dasher not much of a fight I think more of a separation but we had a scrum right in front of Nidart. looks like Mafu shoved away he might be getting into it with Joe Pace or possibly even Cole Bell. Hug it. 10 seconds left. Habiz gobbles it up. We got a fight. There's a glove. And taken down in quick fashion is Ryan Huggett. The Stripes doing all they can to pry this fight away. But you kind of knew somewhere in there in this Midwestern rivalry, you're not going to hold a fight that long. Tabiz quickly out as Huggett was knocked down face first onto the ice on that fight. And heading his way to the box is defenseman Brian Marks. He loses his gloves as he takes down. He takes down Ryan Huggett and they're opening the double doors for Brian Marks. And Ryan Huggett, and those two gentlemen will serve five minutes in their dressing rooms for fighting. Puck will be dropped in center ice. Jesse Felton will tangle with Dietrich. Dietrich, rather, I'm sorry. As a shot by Gordon is wide to the left. And it's gobbled up by Tabiz. We got a fight. And center ice, Taguna against Blair. And Blair pushes him down by his heart. And Taguna down the ice, but they're not giving up. On the other end, where Tabiz gobbled up the puck, it was Brandon Blair knocking down Roger Taguna. Taguna is listed as a very, very gritty player. He was not afraid to take on Brandon Blair, but the six foot three, 245 pound hockey player, Knox Taguna, who comes in at 198, six foot nothing, knocking him down to the ice in the neutral zone. Blair and Taguna will serve five minutes for fighting, and they'll be in the sin bins to serve it. Williams being held off by a member of the Stripes. So five on five hockey, Blair and Roger Taguna are in the Simbin, five for fighting. I tell you, I can't see where my cameraman John's pointing, but right now we have a lot of fans dancing, especially the Comets representatives. Saw that helmet light up a couple of times. And we got another fight. It will be Nick Williams versus number nine, Joe Pace. Pace holds on to the left over Williams. A blow to the back of the head, and Williams knocks down Pace. Delighting the Staten team. Williams, the veteran, knocks Joe Pace, the assistant coach, down. Williams pumps his arms up. This fan crowd loves it. So we'll see two more players, one from each team, serve five minutes, two fights. And in the third period, we've seen two fights. Taguna loses his against Claire. But Nick Williams punishes Joe Pace with a click throw, knocking Pace down to his knees on the ice. 